and let us see what they are and then come to a conclusion whether this medium is really important and how does it differ from talking about. One of the common conditions you know these days, which you will see and we just don't talk about it before. Of dementia in your house. 
and to our relatives or the care they want to prevent the patient. So put yourself in that position and look at the film. At this half, you should see the film as a general audience uh, going to watch the film. <coughs>
just want to talk to more three minutes. But I think, I mean, what, is, what, do you, what is your conclusion when you see the film at the end of it? What do you think this film tells us about? The person did not seem to have too much of dementia. Because I know my mother was having a dementia, so mm -hmm. I know how bad it was. You mean to say you are deliberately asking the question? No, I, because dementia can be of many forms. No, I asked you to be a relative of a dementia patient ah. while watching the films. I am not asking you to use your intellectual abilities. This, all I can say is very difficult to manage. But there is some emotional content to it. Old age and the day we look at our son and people look at Now, same information. Sir, I would like to see one more. Sure. Conclusion I draw from this, he has given his son the last uh, another teaching how he must treat with his children. Okay. Good. Anybody else? Yes. To me, one of the most important things the film does that it definitely sets you thinking. And to me, the good definition of a good film, for me, there are no commercial cinema and there is no art cinema. There is a cinema which is good cinema is that. And good cinema is one where, as well as you are watching, you don't start thinking. But the moment the film ends, you start thinking. And then you want to talk to somebody about what we have seen, and that is how learning takes place. So, seeing a good film having a good emotional content is a precursor to learning. Intelligence is required to learn, but to make you feel that you should learn something, you need to be motivated. And motivation is an emotional phenomenon, empathy, affective phenomenon, and analysis is intellectual phenomenon. And that is why we need to get it. Now let us see another thing where again they are talking about but it's a different kind of thing. And then we see what is the difference between the two films. So it hurts 150 million people. Almost 3,000 people commit suicide every day. In low and middle income countries, 75% of people do not get the mental health services they need. To reduce this huge gap, WHO developed the Mental Health Gap Action Program, or MH Gap, in 2008. An epilepsy project in rural China integrated a simple model of epilepsy control into local health systems and achieved excellent results. We are trained the, the many the doctors working in the county and the uh, township level. So we have to educate them first. And also we have the uh, public education from the people. Let them to know what is epilepsy. Why 那就说是我持有之下呢,我都给了这个感受。the trial project that started in six provinces has now been extended to 15 provinces and tens of thousands of epilepsy sufferers have been treated. 
Georgia and Cameroon are now also training primary care physicians on how to diagnose and treat patients with epilepsy. MHGAP scaling up services for mental, neurological and substance use disorders. Services like the Cape Mental Health Project in Cape Town, South Africa, which offers care for children with intellectual disabilities. We provide training to in, in basic, call it basic physiotherapy, seating, positioning, feeding, um, the children that can be put in place, those are skills that can be, can, can be acquired. This is my daughter Tyler, um, she's intellectually disabled. When I start working with a certain parts of children, you just have each child is one certain thing. But if you know how to bond with that child, it's, it's just beautiful. It's, it's all comes together and you know exactly what to do exactly at the right time. MHGAP, tackling priority care for children with intellectual disabilities. Thank you. 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 Epilepsy, psychosis, suicide. In India, particularly, following the failure in exams, almost 2,300 students commit suicide. So we have taken this as an issue, and we are very happy to say that uh, the Tamil Nadu government has made a new rule in which a student who has failed in the 12th exam can write the failed subjects within one month. Results, so that he doesn't lose a year. Low-cost suicide prevention programs like Snehas are now being initiated in other parts of India, China and Sri Lanka. The Schizophrenia Research Foundation, or SCARF, is also based in Chennai in South India. A WHO collaborating centre, SCARF provides care for a range of chronic mental disorders. I think we eminently fit into this uh, pattern of a low resource setting, working towards uh, delivering mental health care to just about everybody who comes within our fold. We have developed a rehabilitation strategy, which is fairly tailor-made for each person. The focus could be on training of social skills. How do you get into the bus? How do you buy a ticket? How do you go to the bank? How do you draw your money? Or it could be on getting a job. My name is Suresh. I'm working as a manager in a public limited company in the Department of Quality Assurance. My case manager, she maintains my records. I tell her about my problem. She discusses with the doctor and they give me the And I'm normal now. Thanks to my doctors. MHGAP, establishing productive partnerships, reinforcing commitments with existing partners, attracting and energizing new partners. WHO's goal is to see that mental health is integrated into primary health care systems across the world. We have the knowledge. Our major challenge now is to translate this into action and to reach those most in need. We need to change policy, practice and political perspectives. Governments across the world need to see this as a health priority. The cost of providing basic care for these priority conditions is as low as $2 per person per year in low-income countries. It's not about the money first, it's about the commitment, the, the love, the compassion, the, the will to, to make a difference. And I think it's the belief that you can make a difference. One in four people will be affected by mental, neurological and substance use disorder at some point in their life. These stories clearly show that with proper care, assistance and medication, millions can be treated. My desire is that every Indian should be able to go somewhere close to his home and get mental health care. So you can all feel that in a with me like this, so they can't say, I need your help, so I'm giving my help to you in the best way that I can. There is no health without mental health.
would like a blended scotch. How much of entertainment should be there, how much education should be there, and how much awareness should be there. Depends upon what your target audience. So when you go for general public, you definitely need an emotional content. So if you see this first film which you I take about two, three minutes about this old man thinking of committing a suicide going. It makes an impact. Then you start thinking about it. After that, if you see this film, which is more cognitive, more informative, and with more education and that. So this is also a film, that is also a film, but it's in writing your different genres. So this is a documentary film. Now, first of all, documentary films have the reputation. You all know when Indian news really was very common. Huh? People thought this was a break for going to the New World Smoking <laughs> That was the quality of the documentary. So the quality has to be good. And in its worst form, now I must say, earlier, earlier films were not like that. So if you go back in the history of what cinema was like, uh, mainstream cinema, films like Adwa Karika, Khamoshi, the portrait of all professions and even patients were so stereotyped uh, that people were very angry. I'm sure that none of us have liked the way we have been portrayed in Syria. Lawyers have not liked it, police have not liked it, politicians have not liked it, psychiatrists have definitely not liked it. Because psychiatrists have been shown more as patients than as doctors. <laughs> and because that is a common thing. But if you see now things like Beauty to Night, or Tari Zanipa, you think about that again. These are feature films, but short films. Short films are really good because they initiate the process. They can initiate the discussion and can be used as a springboard for the education and particularly health. I'll give you a small example. Uh, we won't see the entire game. In my own practice, when we talk about schizophrenia, we have prepared a program, both in English and Marathi.
तो दोन महिन्यामध्ये कार्य ठरली होती म्हणून कार्य कोणा की इतका गोड होईल आधी सगळेच सिनियर्स ज्युनियर्स
and I got all the notes of my CDs. Also, their books were very interesting because they were underlined. I told you exactly what to do. And the third trick which I learned during that time is just go out for a coffee with them and for a home. Because those are the people who read a lot and knew a lot more than I did. So if I could succeed in provoking them, they would vomit everything they <laughs> And so I will learn. Spoken word was not a problem. That's how. But when it came to images like this, I must give you one example, then I'll show you one more thing that flows. I did a film for Dr. Bush. I don't have a clip, but I tell you how to make a point. He wanted to make a point on what he The film was about surface cancer. Ah, so it's oral cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer. And he wanted to make a point about smoking. I don't have a clip, so I'll be So, here is a doctor in a palliative care talking to medical students and the phone rings. When he attends the phone, there is a request on the phone. That doctor, will you please come home this evening? My father would like to see you. And the doctor answers, well, there is no use of me coming home now. Your father is already in stage 4. And so, we can't do really anything for you. And we have done what we have to do. And he keeps on saying, no, 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 we will feel better. So, psychologically feeling better is a part of treatment. Emotion of bad. So, then there is a cut. And what you see is a doctor in a North Kolkata nice old house, old furniture, and an emaciated old man on the bed with wife and son and walking all around and eagerly awaiting the doctor and they're very happy that he has come. As the doctor comes, the patient also in the And he goes and asks him because he can hardly speak. So the doctor goes near him. <laughs> and the doctor looks at him. And what you see his face is absolute helplessness. <laughs> and the doctor is worried, looks around and says, uh, this So the religious thing that the doctor has become very tense. So he needs a cigarette. So some form can be so out of the back of the cement, offers a cigarette. And then we start looking for a man who is also promptly using the cigarette. The doctor takes the cigarette. In the next shot, you see a close up. The doctor putting the cigarette in the mouth of his old man. And as he's about to light the cigarette, there will be a house on him, the wife, and the son, and the doctor, no! You only told him that he should not smoke. Cigarette is lit. What you see, he takes a drag and you see the smoke screams. And as the smoke subsides, you see a close-up of an old man. Absolute satisfaction on his face. And the next moment, there is an obstructing tough with which he comes. And comes the bulgum and the cigarette and the blood and <coughs> everything. And Dr. Pong, he takes it immediately. The cigarette and the patient's are just like they are not happy, obviously. Cut. The next shot is again in the area to get home. Talking to the patient's group, then he will describe what happened yesterday. And all the leaves. And it's the son again. Right. Very irritated. He said, no, doctor, I called you only to inform you. My father died this morning. <laughs> and you see the howling of the other from behind. Why are you telling them? He's the one who killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and doctor sees my he looks at me. He asked me for a cigarette, and I realized. It was not his last cigarette, it was his last wish. And 
so I could not see the video. But if you don't mind, can I tell you something? Yesterday when I asked for a cigarette, you pulled out a packet from your pocket. You gave it to me. I couldn't do anything for your father, but we can certainly do something for you <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> When you make a point in such a manner, and fortunately Dr. Gupta was kind enough to allow this, otherwise the great academicians of cancer don't allow such see. They think it's bad. Nice. How it turns, how you make a statement, makes a part of good things. So, since the time is up, I will just show you one minute clip from again the ability from ability film this time. And this is the 1,000 pages. And a textbook of 1,000 pages. You finish novel in a day, even if you're sleeping. You can't finish a textbook in a year. At least I haven't come across it. Those who do, their relatives should bring them to me. <laughs> Thank you. 